Banner Children's, we've got pediatric care covered for Arizona families. I'm Ron Noble. I'm a defensive lineman and I suffered from concussion. When you're ready, go ahead. All I did was get hit in the head a couple times with uh, you know, several contacts, either from a knee to the face or an elbow. I mean, I didn't think too much about it. Felt like my brain was bouncing inside my head. Um, I had a hard time getting up in the mornings and then hard time falling asleep. So Ryan, what you're gonna do on this is that I'm gonna hit the start button. You have 30 seconds. What's gonna come up is a, a football will come up. It's pretty small on the screen. And you wanna touch it as fast as you can and as accurately as you can. Ready? What we're looking at here is his fine motor skills, how, how accurately he touches the ball. We're looking at his reaction time and also how well he can scan his environment. 12 and a half to 18 percent of athletes participating in contact sports will have a concussion. The major concern is what do you do with them then? All right, Ryan, come on over here. So now I'm going to test your balance today. What I'm going to look at when I'm testing your balance is I want to look at how well you use your balance systems, OK? The most fear I felt from the concussion was from the you know, not being able to play sports and possibly losing a starting position and being taken out of school and getting so far behind. There's really no other facility like the Banner Concussion Center anywhere in the United States. This facility has a combination of specialists and trained personnel who are the best at what they do in every discipline that's important in evaluating and treating concussions. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, Ryan, is I'm gonna turn your head side to side specifically to that beat, and I want you to read the lowest line you can read while I'm moving your head. The more I found out about the concussion, the more serious it became, because I kept trying to play with the concussion, and then I found out the symptoms and what it can cause, and that, you know, it became reality to me. Okay. All right, so relax your neck. What I was looking at is to see if his head and his eyes moved at an equal and opposite speed. And what that does is it allows everything in Ryan's world to stay focused and steady as his head moves. So what can happen when you have a concussion is that ability for your head and your eyes to move together equally gets kind of mixed up or impaired because the brain isn't processing it correctly. Good. Does that make you dizzy? No. Okay. And from our standpoint, there's nothing more important in evaluating after a concussion what that child's brain or that athlete's brain looked like before the contact. We want your kid to be tested. And the reason why is that if you're tested at a normal state, then the doctor and the clinicians can have a better reference as to be able to tell when you're back to yourself. With treatment, these athletes are getting better faster. They're right. able to return to play faster. They're, better, they're able to return to school T. faster and get back to their life when they participate in therapy P. and that focus specifically on their symptoms. We're looking at G. multiple tests that we've done and it's giving us a comprehensive view of somebody being able to get back on the field and play at their best level. What we don't want to do and what we really make sure here at Banner is we want to make sure that they don't go back too soon. What can happen if you put a player back on the field and they're not fully recovered from a concussion and they get hit again, that's when the effects can become more lasting and more permanent. Mm -hmm.